Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I am going to show you how to create the title block for your frames or for your drawing templates. So we will start from scratch, we will create new format and you can set your name of the format as you want. Yes, so you can specify for example that will be A3 for example. Then you will specify the size, if it's lands landscape for example and come from OK. I don't want to focus directly now for the formats, but your question was how to deal with the table, visualize lines and how to create this table. So let's try over here. It's really easy because you are able to go to the table tab and over here you can really similar to the Excel sheet, create a table, for example, like this. So we will specify how many rows you would like to have and how many columns. If you have a much more as you need, it's really easy. You can use the right mouse button and system will select first of all the cell. Then if you will select right mouse button and click, you will see the row and one more hit on the right mouse button, then you will see the column. So and then confirm left button and you can, for example, delete. So also quick example, right, right, left and for example, delete. Also, it works if you would like to delete the row, so you will select the right mouse button, left and delete. It doesn't matter if you delete or add because you are able to add column and you will specify add column, so the system will add more. And also add row, so we see that you can specify. You ha always have to select the middle lines over here. Then for the rows and columns, we would like to specify it how many rows you would like to merge, for example, so I can select the merge functionality and then select only the cell and then again the cell and between this selection, the system will remove all edges and will be one cell. Also, we can do it here, for example, like this, or again, you can do it like this. So always you can specify how the system will delete the line. If you don't want to, I'd like to finish with middle button, if you don't want to merge cells, you can use the unmerge and again you select, for example, top left corner and bottom right and then the system will show you and you can merge again, for example, as you need. Perfect. If you would like to add more columns again, no problem, you will specify here. You see that system follow the previous uh, preferences. Yeah. So or you can select again right, right, left, delete and it's again as was before. If you will add, add row, for example this row, again the system will add and you can manipulate. Now you know how to add and delete necessary columns, rows or cells. You see that I have the default width. So it's not a problem, you can specify high and width of the cells. For example, if you jump here, you see that in the ribbon it's possible to select directly height and weight or you can use the right mouse button. And then you can specify, for example, width that it's a how many millimeters because my drawing is now in the millimeters. So for example, I will select 25 or you can specify how many characters. So for example, 15 characters. Yeah, so it's up to you. Also, if I will select the whole row and then I will select right mouse button. I can choose, for example, high and you can automatically specify, for example, two characters will be as the high is up to you as you will do it. OK, if you would like to move with the table, no problem, select table and one of this corner. Now you know how to deal with the width and high and also that is possible to change whole row or one cell or the necessary columns. What is necessary to understand again or more that you would like to, for example, hide some lines. You don't want to merge, you would like to only hide. So for example, these lines, what are middle, I'd like to hide. What does it mean? I will show you. You will select the whole table and then it's possible to specify line display. Also use the right mouse button over there is the function line display. You can blank or unblank. So for example, I like to hide these necessary lines. So only select the line and the system will hide it. If I will finish 
middle button. What is the difference between this cell and these cells? Yeah. Over here, if you will would like to write something, so for example, you will write a comment, then you are able to choose the font, for example, something like this, and then placement. So you are able to select that will be in middle and also in the middle. Yeah, something like this. But over here are the separated cells. So what is good? Over there I will write comment to and over here I will select text and also over here yeah, I can select the text too. So what does it mean? That if you would like to place here much more text and you have one big cell and then is a little bit complicated but if you have a specified and hidden lines only sometimes it's really easy to manage the position of the text. Also if you would like to manage the position, everything is in right mouse button. So you can see here that position for the text is here. Yeah. And also maybe we can have a look here. If I will select only cell, right mouse button and properties, we can see in the textile, it's possible to see, for example, the same information as in the format. So high, width factor, or for example, the position Yeah, where you would like to place it. Always you can have a look here. Or what I really, really like is that if I will select, for example, this cell and if I will use the properties tab and textile over there is existing text. So I can copy the preferences from one text to another one. So, for example, over here we have changed the font and also position. So if I will select and preview font will be changed and also the high, for example, and so on. So everything what was applied here. If you will change the color also, the color for the text will be changed here. Much more information are possible to do. And for example, you would like to apply some symbol. Yeah, because you have a company symbol and you would like to add it here. So prepare the symbol and open the symbol gallery in the annotate. So if I will select annotate and symbol in Creo 8, it's the new ribbon and you can open gallery and for example apply this symbol. It's a simplified yeah, symbol only for this example. I call it the circle and if I will place it, now this symbol is placed outside of the table. But if you would like to do it and place it in the table, first of all you have to put it in the drawing. The drawing put it into RAM of the drawing, so in the memory. And now it's really easy and simple because you will write by properties tab and sim bracket name of symbol circle close and come from OK. If you come from OK, you see that system show me the symbol. If I will go to the top over here, I am able to specify the height of the symbol, for example, 10 preview maybe 25, yeah, you can try what you want, 30, doesn't matter, and placement horizontally, yeah, or vertically, middle, and your symbol will be here. If you will place the company symbol, you will see always the company symbol. Now this symbol is not necessary to use anymore, you can select and delete, and you will work only with the table. So it's great because you are able to manage position, and it's really easy. Perfect. And last but not least, and directly answer to your question, how to specify line. Okay, first example was select table and specify the in right mouse button, but you have to be in table tab. Yeah, so one more time, select table in the table tab, and then you are able to manage line display and you can show and hide. This is the first example. And the another example is that you need to show something. So the best practice is if you will jump in the sketch tab and you will create your custom line and this line you will place on the table. Yeah. So you can create one by one the lines or you can create rectangle or something like this. Yeah. But for quick example, I'd like to continue. So we would like to continue from this line. So we are able to create similar to rectangle, yeah, four lines. 
and now over here on the table are lines so what does it mean if you will use the printing the system will select the line width from the default the pen table file or the system will specify the line display and again use the pen table file if you would like to know more about the pdf printing from the creo please check my previous tutorial and you will understand the pen table file but let's continue and focusing on the line display so you are able to select lines maybe you are able to use over here also that you would like to select only lines nothing more yeah so i will specify selection and filter and now again it's possible to play with line style you will specify the line style you can change the width for example one i will select this one so it will be a little bit thicker or you can use the something 0.5 only yeah it's about the visualization but this visualization it's not connected with the printing and for example into pdf or to plotter so let's try everything depends about the used color because in the pen table the lines and line style is definite by colors so for example i will use the this color confirm ok apply and close and everything will be changed based on the line and then if you will use the printing the system will print this color based on the pen table file i hope so that was explained correctly and you will try and you will create your title block in your format or for your template of the drawing as you need thank you so much and stay tuned bye bye vladimir